Welcome to DNA's Birding Adventures. We are off to Kansas for some birding. Our first stop is Cheyenne Bottoms National Wildlife Refuge to try to find some of those migrating birds and to add new birds to our 2024 big year list. We'll also check out Quivera National Wildlife Refuge, Mushroom Rock State Park, and a few other places. What an incredible state for birding. It's about a nine hour drive to our first stop, Cheyenne Bottoms National Wildlife Refuge. Kansas sorghum. They also grow corn and beans and everything else. We took the driving tour through Cheyenne Bottoms National Wildlife Refuge, stopped at the Education Center, and found tons of birds at this part of 41,000 acres of wetlands. Bunch of butterflies in here. This is the visitor center for what's well, called Kansas Wetlands Education Center at Cheyenne Bottoms. We're gonna go inside. And today actually is the Great Migration Rally for the monarch butterflies. We saw thousands of them. Very nice visitor center. Right along the grasslands. You can see the size of the wings. Span of a lot of different birds here. In comparison, there's a lot of new roads and there's this nice observation deck and the wetlands actually require lots of rain to keep them running. Cheyenne Bottoms has been in a drought for quite a few years so there's only a few of the ponds open, A1 and A2. The rest are prairie grasslands. There, double crusted cormorants. Basking in the sun. The great blue heron. Fishing. Turtles. Red winged blackbirds. Look at all the dragonflies. This black crowned night heron was flying away, but we determined that's what it was by the spots on its wings. Bird number 286 for 2024. Another great blue. and about a million red-winged blackbirds. We can hear 
some Wilson snipes. And there's a wood duck. They've just captured a quick glimpse and a shot of this Wilson snipe. A few hundred yards away was a huge plethora of birds in this pond off in the distance. This and Quivera National Wildlife Refuge are uh, great migration areas for the birds to rest and regroup before they take off and head south. Hands, upsets, take your dowagers, a whole bunch of red winged blackbirds flying over. White faced ibis. It was great to see them fly over land and then they hid right away inside of the grass and you could tell that they were immature white faced ibis they didn't have that white eye ring american pelican Harrier. Flying kind of low. This area had so many birds of prey. Don't forget to look up. Northern shovelers. American coots. Oh, there comes more. Coots? Yep. Some babies in there too. Again, more immature coots.
Right behind them are some shovelers. Doesn't. Rain deck doesn't. Red-winged blackbirds are really working on those seeds. Northern herring. canals had this yellow crown night heron. It looked pretty thin and immature, but we counted it bird number 297. All the seagulls took flight in the afternoon with the afternoon heat and they were all catching bugs. It was fascinating to see. And uh, we were looking for the Sabines gull, but didn't spot one, at least this time. We did see the immature and immature ring-billed gulls and the Franklin's gulls flying everywhere, catching bugs. I think we watched for about an hour looking for the Sabine's gull and watching all these flocks of seagulls catch bugs for the afternoon. It was an incredible day at Cheyenne Bottoms National Wildlife Refuge. We got 35 birds with a wonderful start to our Kansas birding. We got two new birds for 2024, adding to our list, including some strange critters, all right. This cicada killer, it was huge. There's a size comparison from this little wasp compared to the killer cicada or cicada killer, yikes. We sure worked up an appetite and we found this Page's Bistro. It was delicious, right across from the motel where we were staying. Margaritas, and then we had the hamburger and bourbon glazed salmon. Yum. A great start to our trip. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing with DNA's Birding Adventures. Next stop, Quivera National Wildlife Refuge. Happy trails to you. Until next time.